So that was four minutes, I'm a big fat liar. Took four minutes. Took four minutes, not two minutes. I'm appalling. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I just realized that this 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 gentleman's name is Fake Limp. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? Okay. Sisterverse! What did I do to deserve such a helping hand? A chuckle escapes the man before he shudders, placing a hand over his mouth. At once alert of the need to remain quiet, his voice drops to a harsh whisper. The fifth eye has a sense of humor sending you... Verse returns cold glare, but says nothing. Okay! How do you two know each other? This one used to run with my pack until he left for death Nell's gang. Motherless swine didn't even have the guts to fight me for the right to leave. He just packed up and left with his coward's tail between his fat legs! Ah! And why is move at that? How many of you lost under your command so far? He holds up a hand, stifling a smile. I misspoke. I'm sure you only got most of them killed. Can't rule out death by their own incompetence. Dude, I gotta say, it sounds, this... It truly sounds like if you were permitted to be ultra-violent in high school, this is what it would be like. Oh yeah! How many people sitting at your lunch table have been killed? I'm sitting at Molly's lunch table, and what a good decision that was. We have sleepovers and talk about boys. And stab anyone we don't like. Seems Death Nell didn't take my advice, and have you gelded to curb your outburst. First draws her blades in a fluid motion. Oh my god, I'm more athletic. Look at this. Grab fake limb by the neck. Apologize now. You gained 104 athletic skill experience. Woo! With a swift, confident stride, you advance on fake limp and grip his neck before he can step away. His stance wobbled as you clench down on his throat and he presses his arms against you, desperate to push you away. At last, he tears himself away from your grip, gasping for air and clutching at his throat. I am sorry, Mr. Verse, I did not I did not mean any disrespect. <laughs> Damn. Of course you did, and I couldn't care less. Just know this, you're not good enough to do it to my face. She sniffs and glares up at him. Clean yourself up. Apologies, I've been in this field for weeks answering to no one. I've forgotten my place. The camp is just yonder. I have never seen such a confident point that way. <laughs> the camp is just yonder, he points to the northeast, and we've kept an eye on them for the last couple days. Some of them left a few hours ago looking for FUD. Maybe out on patrol, but they haven't returned yet. Might be wise to strike now that they're divided. Leave the Oathbreakers to- Oh, how'd you find this place, actually? Happy accent of sorts, he points east towards the mountains. We were up in the mountains with orders to keep the Oathbreakers in. <laughs> and keep any would-be allies out of the valley. Strange things happened. Tremors hit the pass and the tremors lasted a bit, so I figured they were magical, but there weren't no sign of Earthshakers or anybody. No, really, how'd you find this place? Nobody else in the chorus knew where this camp was. His eyebrows rise up. Not sure what you're playing at. I don't like your tone. You had orders to watch the mountains east of here and found this spot on our trek back to camp. What can I say? Answer to the Archon of Secrets. I don't get told a lot of details, but I sure see a lot of coincidences. Ooh. Leave the Oathbreakers to me. My gang and I will lurk nearby. When you make your attack, we'll descend and help drag off any captives. Don't worry. I'll let the others know you did the heavy lifting. I'll cheat at battle, but not with my reputation. On it. Tao, ta, tao, 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 ta, ta, tao, tao, tao. Locate the rebel captain. Oh, oh, wait, I didn't level you up? Oh, wait, that's right. I'm saving the skill points. Right. Let's have it then. Right. <laughs> it free.
freeze this battle like the nanosecond the arrow leaves. Well, we better be a responsible netizen and... Wait, where, where, where's my spells at? Okay. I see how that works now. It autofills. Okay. Alright, usual. Oh, it sucks. I need to get the range upgrade on, on that touch of atrophy, man. For now, I'll shoot a guy in his heart, huh? Pale this guy. You have your orders? Let's, Let's make it work. Make it work. Alright. Uh, immediately going to just... You got it. Ah, shit. Hit him with the quills. On it. On it. Oh yeah, searing palm. Oh hell yeah. Do yourself. Holy shit. Sorry, I can't. Consider it done. Oh, this weapon is useless. Found something. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. All right, I've accidentally. I've. I can't believe, I can't believe I've done this. I got it. Okay. Wait, I can only cast it like that? I can't do it like this? Okay, I did it. Okay. Holy shit! Oh my god, you're all rooted! Holy cow! Okay, wait, I heal this guy. Oh my god, that frostbite thing was awesome! Oh my god. Well, that's how we're starting off this next fight. X. You got it. Wait for these things to finish up. Holy fuck a moly. Not a problem, boss. Oh yeah, we're doing we're doing all these sorts of things. These all melee guys, boy, I sure hope so. More tallies to the body. Found something. Okay, this is the searing touch. This guy is literally gonna die so fast. I will aid you. I don't know if this does friendly fire, but I don't think I care. I don't think I care. <laughs> toasted, literally. Literally toasted. Let's give him the vigor he needs. Let's just, let's just cripple everyone. Dude, using magic is just so fun. I wish I knew just a few more combat skills. <laughs> Make everyone feel cursed. You got Shoot an arrow while standing right next to her. Oh, I love that slow-mo battle. No friendly fire, hell yeah. Toasted. Alright, let's do some leveling. Yes, 
Christmas. Let's see. Seems good. Well, still has talents. Okay, that's right. On it. Uh, as always, we're gonna take everything, every single time. Actually, was that Vendrian? Helmet do. Um, it's common. I'm just gonna wait till I get some fine ass equipment. Found something. Oh, that hurt. Oh, holy goodness. Oh my God. Just here. Look, you're gonna need some healing. Man, I gotta be more watchful for traps, dude. X, 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 X. Mm. Alright, I think I found it. Pelox Florian. Hello, Pelox Florian. The Overlord's peons have arrived. Blades up, Falks and Han, and ready for battle, the Endrian Guard. Captain Bellows orders to the warriors in his camp. Dressed in tarnished bronze and sporting countless scars across his arms, Pelox and Lor or excuse me, Florian towers over his peers. If you value your life, drop everything and flee, or stand and fight. I'm happy with that option, too. Just seemed unsporting for me to suggest it. Die, Oathbreaker. Now. Alright. First, uh, Frostman's gonna do his frost thing. Uh, I'm going to... I think I'm just gonna make him feel all feeble and whatnot, you know. I mean, we're about to just one-shot this guy, like, so hard. Sorry, can't do that. <laughs> No. What is the... Wait a minute. Oh, shit. But no, actually, just go here. Oh, okay. Consider it done. Oh, he, he just used it. Oh shit. Consider it done. I got it. All right, I'm making some mistakes, man. Let me thrust this guy. Wait, wait, no, no, no. We, we're doing this. We're doing this together. That's right. On my command. <laughs> Good work. Alright, uh, this is... This is really bad. done this like so many times yet oh we've already it says we've already used it oh shit we hobbled this guy you got oh, shit. i don't know shoot that guy i think i'm like perfectly distributing my damage in the worst possible way oh thank god she's alive oh, got dark all of a sudden Holy shit, oh my god, did we die? Dude, I did not do this fight well at all. I just, like, I led with myself. Alright, uh, like, wish me luck! Good luck! I will aid you. You know, 
stab her. It's up to me and this guy. Come on. I require. Will do. Hmm. Have a look here. I think my guy's getting close to dying, like right now. Uh. Uh. Hobble the. Smash to pieces! Can't do that. Shoot this one in the heart. My armor right. is dented. Let me repair it. Oh. The same. Ah. On it. Ah. I'm going down. That guy's. Ah. Ah. Will do. Can shoot that one. Fuck. Ah, health potion. Will do. This is going so slow. Oh, I should have backflip. Sick. Ow. Fucking run. Shit. Oh, fuck! It. Move! Get the run! <laughs> shit! Oh shit! I'm really embarrassed. Oh fuck! I'm injured. Shoot him in his heart. Right in his heart. Oh! Yes! Oh my god! Hit him with the fireball! No, no, no! I want to. I don't know what I want to do. Make him real weak. I can't move! Ah! Uh. Yep! Yeah. Uh, I'm rooting! Um... Oh! Shit! That was close! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Make him hobble! Come here! Holy shit! Everyone comes back to life! Oh shit! Okay. Everybody's back. <laughs> All right. For God's sake, heal your friend. <laughs> yes! Oh my God! Hey, guess what? Will do. Oh my God! Glory be to Kairos. Oh my God! By his Edo, get toasted. Oh my God! What are you gonna do? Will do. Oh. <laughs> Enough of this. My bedroll calls. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that was. I had him anyways. That was an easy fight. Am I right? What a joke. I have to do everything myself, though. I have these incompetent party members. It's a good thing they send the fate binder to run and hobble. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you have on you? Oh, look at you have a potion of elemental barrier. Cool. You have some broken armor. Ow, my cat. You just stabbed me. At once. At once. Pillar of Courage. Control Vicar and Magic Staff. Ah. Immunity to Frightened. Disfavored? Where was the, this, this disfavored? Do you see the disfavored sword thing come up? Hello, kitten. Oh, jeez. Zoros just came in. What are your thoughts on the game, dude? I'm having a blast. I'm being evil. 
I'm being an evil person. If you've played any classic RPGs. Oh, for Two battles. Oh, I paused it and then I unpaused it and then I paused it. Okay. You're getting stabbed. Uh, I'm actually going to cast the evasion on myself like right away. Oh, and they're so clustered. All right, we're going to get them here. I'm going to spike this guy so that way he stays in place. I got it. Damn thing could tears cloth. You see me backflip, man? I'm so sick. Shit. Sorry, I can't. Oh, someone I'm me up. Come on, roast him. I'll admit that from the record. Damn thing couldn't pierce claw. <laughs> Got dark all of a sudden. Oh, I died. I hate doing everything myself. Feel oh, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Why? No, there's no way I die right now. Come this on. Is useless. Oh God, no. No, come on. I will aid you. Armor is dented. Let me repair it. Will do. Uh, I did this to myself. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. A bronze axe. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Now let's take this and. It's on this. And okay, so so you're gonna want this axe. I'm thinking. I think it's just, it's just worse. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Okay, healing potions. We gotta distribute some of these around, okay. Our main man. He's got he's gotta be leading. What's this? Okay. Oh wait, is this is this stronger than eleven to fifteen crush? This is Hey, nice. Sick, dope, tight. Alright. Sorry, I can't. Okay, we gotta we gotta clear this out. We gotta clear this area out. Oh yeah, we didn't do this before. Oh. Heads up, we have company. Alright, target fire. Burst him down. Uh, uh, 
Heart, kill him. Oh shit, I just canceled my attack. Will do. Let's see what falls out of you. Hey, heal my friend. Oh no. No, it's not. Ah. I got it. Okay. That's how it's done. Toast him. Okay, we did it. We won. We won fight number one. No one's wounded? Wounded four? Hmm. Have a look here. What do I do when I detect a trap? And a world first! Okay, so... I will aid you. Alright, I think we're gonna shoot this guy in his heart. Send me your Alright, I gotta I gotta start actually weakening people, you know? Let's see what falls out of you. Okay, here comes the weakening. Sorry, I can't. Nice, nice. Okay. Dude, this aim for hard ability is so good. Oh, I love that he doesn't like to pause. <laughs> Dude, these, these fights are going so much better. I really just gotta use the... You see that? On it. The face no! I uh, right clicked instead of left clicking. I did this to myself. Whew. Okay. Right. You know what, I just need you to deal damage. <laughs> uh, I think this is the one, yeah, that's the one I did last time. Okay. Not happening. What do we have here? What? I needed to get him in formation. Literally the worst formation. Oh, Lord's feelings are right, blades up! Ah! You know what? I. Oh, you want to talk? Florin looks at the direction of soldiers, engaging their reactions. Fine, speak your mind. Try anything funny and I'll run my falks clear up your backside until you taste bronze. Ooh. Here your brother Tyrell and his band, most of his band, sent through Edgering. Graven, Ash wants one Pelox for another. Tyrell is alive? His eyes widen and surprise and shelves the Is he well? Well enough? Do you have proof he is alive? Hmm. <laughs> I was only joking. I watched your brother die. I thought you should know before you join him. Bang! Motherless box rod! <laughs> oh, this is not looking good. Let me tell you something. I did not do this well at all. This is a bad setup. This is bad. Do that to yourself. You, I actually think you need to change battle stance to something defensive. Unbound and mocking iron. Uh, 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do plus 10 accuracy. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna be switching. And I myself, I'm going to do this. This is minus three might and minus three vitality. Good. I, see <laughs> I can't believe that was an option. And is she in the correct stance? She is. Okay, so you're gonna skewer. You, I mean, we're gonna go all in on the Capitaine. And now that you've done that, if you'd be so kind as to heal me. Oh, oops, yes, heal. I'll do it for the north. What's everyone doing? Oh, wait, what? What? Did I, like, what? Where did all my commands go? Ah. Okay. Uh, I think I. Did I? I don't feel like I misclicked. Maybe I just did. I'll do it for the north. We're just all in on this guy. It's all cool. Yeah, you know what? Seer and Palm him. And you, you know what? Hit him with the spike. You got it. Take that. Alpha striked. Yes. How long does the hobble last? Hobble for 32.7 seconds. Sure. Will do. Right, good? You're all good? I got it. Oh, not two attack, one attack. Do I have any healing items? Okay, so I think, I think our champion dude's doing pretty good. Oh, that one fucking hurt. You got it. Got dark all of a sudden. Just fine. Just fine. I don't need that rib to scribe. I can't take much more of this. It's gonna be a close battle. Just do one of those things. Ouch. It's fine. <laughs> no, he fell over. I will aid you. This is still going better. Right. Can't do that. Do it this time. It's finally. I got it. Did it just dispel? I got it. Oh, oh, I'm looking at the, the wrong hop on man. I'm bad. Healing. Not feeling so great. You aim for the heart. All right, let's go. Let's go, hot swords. Ah, uh, for ten. Not dead yet. Okay, he's near death. Why don't you? Uh, I think we got him. Come on, everyone, get up. Get on up. You're gonna get so tired you just camp on a corpse. Oh. Did anyone ever play the original 
Lands of Lore. Like, in the original Lands of Lore, you could sleep whenever you wanted to, but you would actually sleep in the forest, and it would show your health slowly going like... Like, just ticking up. Studded Iron Gadget. So you'd just, like, go to sleep in the forest, and suddenly you'd be like... And you'd be, like, right there. Fighting people in the midst of falling asleep. So you'd always like try to run away from people and sleep for a little bit and then run a little more and sleep a little bit. Sun Soldier's Shield. Literally strictly worse. Strictly worse in every way. <gasps> I did it! I saved! Save! Ah! Why don't I ever position properly? Let me tell you, this is this is how games work. You do you do poor decisions, you get punished, you learn. Okay. Three on you. You are going to shoot a flurry arrow. Uh you are going to Oh yes, absolutely two, all day. And I'm going to try... You know, I'm really not using this thing, so I think I'm gonna just take my crippling coil. Put it there, but I think this is the thing I really need to do. Just run up and zap this fool. Everyone got something to do? We get it? We get it? Good? So I'm gonna... Your day Whatever, ever. I encourage myself. Me, I think it's time for me to get out of here. Will do. Some of these sound effects are so intense. All right, you this one's me. toasted. Will do. Oh my gosh, can you believe I ever lost this fight? I'd have it no other way. Oh yes, too easy. We're getting him. Yes. Hello, fake limp. Can't believe I've won this. <laughs> Woo! Hello. You killed him. Oh, were we supposed to not kill him? Were we supposed to not kill him? I don't remember this. I'm a little embarrassed. I'm not the best listener. Were we not supposed to kill him? Tried my best, but he didn't seem to like the chorus much. Huh. Then you should have argued harder, knocked him over the head, and carried him against his will. Fate Binder, is this really your first abduction? I'm not sure I like the tone of your voice. That's right. I'm not sure I like the tone of your face! <gasps> 
glare silently. Fake lip sighs. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. I'll have to report this unfortunate turn of events to the voice of Nerat in person. Hopefully, reading this wilderness so the rebel nuisance will be enough to save my own face. Now get out of here. Don't you have other fates to bind or something of that sort? I keep forgetting that I can actually talk to my party members. How did you do that? Do what? Back in the Archon's war tent, you cast an edict as casually as reading a supply shipment. How did you do that? Well, I've done it. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate ignorance because I, Sean Plot, wish to know. I cast the edict of fire on the Vellum Citadel. I heard about it. How Kairos's anger raised a volcano from under the sage's own fortress. That that was some impressive work. That was that was me, all right. Well, call me impressed, considering that you've read the words of Kairos more than once. I'm surprised that you're even alive to tell of it. Your vocal cords should have turned to ash by now. No, no, I practice a lot. Every morning when I wake up, I sing, Let it go. Let it go. I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. It's just worth recognizing what you've done. Not only are you Tunin's fate binder. You're the mouthpiece of the overlard. Gives me plenty of reason to stick around. You're going places, and I want to see where they lead. That's enough for now. Oh, wait, there's more. Faith Binder. Always a pleasure. Verse sizes you up with open curiosity. When her assessment is done, she laughs to herself, shaking her head. What do you need? I just, I just, I'll just do it later. Fatebinder, you look like you need to talk. <laughs> Thank you, man, with metal permanently glued to his body. What can I do for you? Dantry stops his stride, darting his hands about his bandoli ban bandolier, bandolier, and belts as he softly mouths off a mental inventory of his inks and quills, and when at last assured his possessions are in place, looks up with you with a smile. You know what, I just, I'll talk to these people in a bit. I, I, what, what, what is that I need to do now? Oh, not PJ. Alright, well. In the meeting of the Archons, I will go there. Meeting. Where is it at? It's in the disfavored camp, okay. Left click and drag the mouse to select multiple party members within the selection area. I'd like to see your wares, Sterling Hagnon. Sigil of the Guarded Form. Ooh, okay. This thing is just so frickin'. Uh, what should I sell? You know, Gut Seeker, Red Rivers, Vendrian, yeah, yeah. I don't even think we even need the bronze war mace. It's two-handed, right? Let's sell that. Now let's just get the scrolls. This is this is like this is what I'm about now. This is who I am. There's a guy who likes to read scroll. Lore 60. Oh no. 48. Fifth fifth! Oh, he's so close. Oh my god, he's so close. Wait a minute. So I have Control Atrophy and Control Fire. He has Control Frost and Control Vigor. So if I go to the inventory and I give him the Staff of Boreal Frost. Go back to his character. Okay, so I'm just figuring out how the labeling works because this actually says Shit. 
It actually says sigil of life. Plus ten control life, I see. Okay. Soon enough, I'm gonna read that. Mm-mm-mm. Go. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> you bastards. No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Why is it going to the tent? It, no. Oh. Oh, my God. Well, guys, we beat the game. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. oh, man. Oh. I got pumped. You know, I mean, they, they told me um, that what will happen is that I'll be... Because, you know, um, from from just like, you know as a business streamer's perspective, or from the streaming business perspective, often um, someone will reach out and say, hey, there's game X coming out. Whatever you do, don't go past location X. Uh, like, so for Dark Souls 3, don't go past the Abyss Watchers. If you kill the Abyss Watchers, you may not go any farther than the Abyss Watchers. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I, you know, I want to be really careful and really respectful about that sort of, like, limitation. Um... Um, but for this one, they were like, listen, we'll just, we actually have it programmed as a demo, so it'll actually just say Tyranny coming soon. Um, so, so don't worry about it. Just play, don't even think about it, it'll be fine. And I was like, oh, that's really convenient, cool. So I just like unloaded this concern about considering the end at all. So now I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right. All right, we've done we've done each of the things. We've done one of the tasks for you know the disfavored. We've done another task or another set of tasks for the. Well, actually, I didn't. Do, I just really, I I killed the guy I wasn't supposed to kill, and now they're mad at me. Whatever verse is on my side, but everyone's mad at me. But I did I did the two tasks, and I was like, all right, let's take the tower over, and then tyranny coming soon. Oh! <laughs> ah! Um, and I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> so like, what? What happens next? Um. Well, for any of you who are curious, uh, it's out on November tenth, and you can go to tyrannygame.com if you if you want to know how tyranny is spelled. It's right there. Uh, tyrannygame.com. And you can snatch it. And Kronos gives the gives a Bible thump. I want more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we didn't talk to our party members. <laughs> we should have. <laughs> ah, that cliffhanger. And back to the tent we go. The tent that ends all things. <laughs> that's just... That's... This is what it feels like. This the, the feeling I have right now is when you're playing Rocket League and you're at overtime and you hit the ball and it's sailing towards the goal and it like is three quarters of the way past the goal line and it hits the ground and it's like match over, you lose. <sighs> so yeah, well, while we're here, uh, let's do Q&A, man. Okay, Tyranny Q&A, let's go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hunter1273, what do you think of it? You know, it just gives me the same feeling with the other Obsidian RPG games that I really enjoy, where I think... 
like, it's the sort of game that I want to, like, sink into for, like, 16 hours straight, several days in a row. Like, just going in. Ah. Oh. Um, you know, there there's some games that I play that when I want, like, a quick session, I pop in and I pop out. Or a game of Rocket League, like, play two run, cool. Sounds good, you know? If I'm baking some food and it's like, okay, I'll be ready in 15 minutes. All right, yeah, two games rock, I just go in and out. Um, but playing an Obsidian game, it's like it's like a spa day. You know what I mean? Where you just sit there and you're just like, uh, you're not even in the real world anymore, right? And the systems in the game sort of all contribute to that. Like, okay, there's a million different spells to fiddle with. Um, there's a bunch of combat skills, and I did not really get the chance to explore the combat skills that much. There's a whole bunch of other skills in the game that can clearly be improved in different ways. There's a bunch of side quests and people to talk to. And for, I'd say, the last 25% of me playing the game, you saw me not talking to a lot of those people. Um, there's a ton of people to talk to. There's a ton of skills. There's a ton of, you know, inventory items. I wasn't using any of the consumables while I was playing it. Um, there's more dialogue to be had. There's just a lot of density in each of the pieces, which is why I love to just, like, uh, I am just a person who plays Tyranny this weekend. Uh, um, um, I mean, it was the same thing that was happening with Pillars of Eternity, where I was just like, uh, I'm... <laughs> this is all that I am right now. Wah. So we played, let's see, how long did we play? We started a little after 11, and it's uh, 5.30, so we'll subtract off a total of like 20 minutes or so for various multi-minute breaks. Multi-minute breaks. Why not call it two-minute break? It's the most pompous way. It's like, I'll be there in multi-minutes. <laughs> um, what was that, six, six hours, 15 minutes? Oh, God. And I, I, like, these sort of games for me, I'm, like, trying to build a network in my head of all the pieces that are going on and all the people and the skills. Because, like, the combat, the fact that I was getting to more combat in the end, like, yeah. Um, starting to understand the factions more and sort of, you know, you, you sort of get a little more expectation as to what's going on. Or right when I'm like, all oh, right, I got it. I see this screen. Fuck. <laughs> ah! Ah! Um, well, actually, I wonder what it would be like to play through the game again and again and again and again with just vastly different choices. Just like, you know what? I'm only disfavored. I just, I, I don't like anyone. I'm only in support of disfavored. Oh, man. What else do we got here? Filthy Rakes is, how does it feel to be so good at the game that it ended itself out of self-preservation? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, ga the game looked at me kiting while, while hobbling people, screaming, and was like, we weren't expecting someone to break the game like this. Thank you for playing Tyranny, coming soon. Yeah, we'll just hang out for, you know, another five minutes or so. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, holy guacamole cow. Said, would Despy or Sheriff like this game better? I definitely think Despy would. Despy is the one who has a lot more emotions. She has a lot more feelings. She's really wants attention and really wants to be left alone and really wants to play string and I think that a game that permits a lot of choices to explore her emotions uh, would be very would be very satisfactory you know if she didn't get to play string she could be a little vengeful and kill the whole village uh, Sheriff just likes to be warm and to eat and uh, you couldn't do either of those in this game so I think she wouldn't be very interested just being sure for my cats by the way <laughs> they're my daughters <laughs> They're right behind the green screen. <laughs> well, um, you know, I want to give a thank you again to Obsidian and Paradox, Jesse, for help setting this thing up. 
um, giving me the chance to play the game a few weeks before release. Uh, it's it's a real treat. As you know, I've just been the freaking biggest fan of... And, you know, it's funny because I, I don't really play... Like, I've told this story before when I was playing Pillars of Eternity, but I'll say it again. This type of game, the more, you know, traditional, just RPG, either turn-based, you know, like the Fallout or sort of real-time turn-based, like these combat systems. This is not a genre that I generally go out of my way to play. It's not like my main genre of playing. But what happened over the years is I would just be picking up a game here, like you know, a, a CRPG here, a CRPG there, um, and after a while I just started to notice that pretty much all the ones that I wound up playing and getting into were all made by the same people. And then I started to actually look for them. I started to go, oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. Tight, tight. Um, so, um, you know, give me the opportunity. Thank you. It was tight. Except for the end where I walked into the tent and this screen came up. That was the worst part. You should, you should get that out of the full game. I don't think that'll fly well. I don't think that'll actually fly well with your demographic. Is this demo going to be playable before release? Um, my presumption would be nope. I would presume. Retribution Ryan says, I certainly missed a lot of the stream due to the long day at work. What makes you most excited for this game? What sets it apart? So, I mean, the most excited thing is, again, like, games like this are like a spa day for me. Except it's more like a spa week where you just sink, you descend into the experience of the game. I think the thing that sets it apart is it's just, it's only evil choices. I'm like, not, you know, I'm always such a goody two-shoes, but it's like really exploring this entire dimension where like a lot of times I'm like, <gasps> I think that's that's certainly the big, the big one. I have heard tales of the replayability, although I have played through precisely one time, as you have just seen. <laughs> Uh. Oh, <laughs> I'd personally like to thank Josh for most of all. Yeah, yeah, Josh, thanks for that big head option. That was great. I really think that uh, went a long way to making me chuckle as I abused that merchant outside of the disfavored camp. <laughs> oh. Rocket Ninja says, would you say that in this game you are a tyrant? <laughs> um, yeah, gosh. I feel like really what you wanted me to do is read the question out loud. I suppose so. I suppose so. Perhaps the game would be more aptly named Dick. Because then I could be like, oh no, it's really good, it's just too short. It wasn't, yeah. I hope that it's longer at full release. <laughs> Alright, Coriel says, I want to be able to half pay attention. Does the game reward you for being evil? You know, there's this certain mindset that, you know, I used to have as... <laughs> there's there's Jack Cash out to the joke. Love it. There's a certain mindset that, you know, I had, again, as, as a youth of, like, I need to do, I need to do the right choice, you know? Because this is, this is in, like, the days when you could actually mess up in games, you know? Like, Return to Zork was this just savage adventure game where you could just mess up and you were screwed. Or there would be a choice where it was A or B, and B would get you the sick, awesome item, and A wouldn't. So you would reload and just get B every time. Like, why would you not? And this game is, like, from my experience, you make the choice and it just it just works with that. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say rewarded for being evil, because I mean, like, all the choices are evil. It, but I do feel like when I'm doing things, <laughs> I'm, I'm noticing how much certain people really hated me. And I was like, oh, you hate me? Well, I hate you. <laughs> Uh, Supernova 2017 and Tyranny is a three gate expand viable against a parsnip rush. Thanks. Man, that's 
It's an inside joke layered on top of a StarCraft joke layered on top of a non sequitur. And uh, the answer, as always, is unfortunately nope. Oh. See, hey on, hold, okay, hey on, you've just said it. If it's a good game, I always get really immersed, which makes it very hard for me to be evil since it doesn't feel good to me naturally. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the struggle. And uh, Tyrion's just like holding my hand. It's like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Do you want to kill everyone or half of everyone? I'm like, everyone. Gogo Domingo, do you find that games with voice acted dialogue are easier to immerse in? I have trouble diving into CRPGs for that reason. Not really. I actually really like reading. Um, like in a game doing reading, which is weird because let me tell you, if there's a if there's an iPhone app that ever said, and the instructions are immediately no one's read it. Like <laughs> putting games for dialogue, I actually actually quite enjoy that. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um Yeah. Let's take. Cronus, do you think after playing Tyranny, you'll have an easier time being a dick in more RPGs? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think that is the sort of modern trend in these sort of games, though, where. Um, good and evil happens to be the axis, but the real goal is to show that your choices actually change the experience. Um. You know, that's what I really like about, um, you know, Telltale games. When it's like, you know, Mrs. Piggy is beginning to doubt you. This is in the fictional Muppet Show <laughs> Telltale game series. Kermit the Frog is experiencing deep shame at what you've seen him do. <laughs> like, that sort of thing. Where I'm like, <gasps> and Kermit's like, oh, I'll never forgive myself. <laughs> that. Um, so... So, I don't know, I, I, I just like the fact that as I'm doing just stuff where I'm like, you know, there's a little bit of shock value. Oh, I killed them all. I told him his brother was alive and then I killed him and that wasn't even the quest goal. <laughs> that sort of thing gives me a little bit, oh, that's what, and what's going to happen now? Because it kind of removes the guilt from it. It's just, the, all the choices are just, are sort of the type of evil. So you kind of like, oh, you really get to dip into a place you don't really typically get to. <laughs> Kermit will remember that. <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh, so good. I guess we can do one more. We can do one more question. I think it seems, it seems like a good build. People are just talking about the Muppet Show Telltale game. Beaker is displeased with your response. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna scroll up. It's just jokes on jokes right now. Oh yeah, Shrike. Hey, what's going on, Shrike? Do you feel there was enough customization of character equipment? Uh, oops, I accidentally scrolled past your question. Character equipment, looks, party, composition, skills. I mean, I feel like I've only scratched the surface of it. I mean, like, I, I think the, I mean, the thing that immediately resonated with me a ton is the spell customization. Because I, I mean, I just want to fiddle with stuff and... Uh, it did two things for me. One, I like the fiddling and playing around, and I'm getting into fights and realizing, like, you know, I actually don't have a good layout of skill. Like, I felt that. I would go into the fight and be like, Barrick's just gonna, Barrick's just gonna whack things. He has no skills left, right? <laughs> I, need get, I need to get him something better, man. Like, that was great. Um, I didn't take the opportunity to explore the combat skills, but, um... I mean, I just want a lot more combat skills to to play with. So the fact that when you level up, you gain them, 
you gain both combat skills and you gain the lore. That's the other great thing is that it kind of sets goals for me where I'm like, oh, I need lore 65 for this. I want to work towards that. Oh, you know, like it, given more time, like if I were in my free time, I would probably spend like 45 minutes just going through the skill trees and like hovering over and looking at all the tool tips. Um, I wound up not doing that because I just wanted to, you know, explore around the world and fight things. But um, the skills and the um, uh, spell customization I was, I was a fan of. Um, the, the item equipment stuff, I, I think I need a lot more time to get the mental model to click properly because I feel like on one end of the extreme, there's games like Diablo where enemies are like item pinatas. There's just items constantly. Oh, I poured water on myself. <laughs> Everything is very cold right now, but I'm going to try to maintain my train of thought like a professional. That's very wet. That's okay. There's items just pouring out of enemies, just like tons, bleh. and it's sort of like the slot machine. You just do a run, and the loot comes out, and there you go. Uh, there's item systems that are very limited resource item systems, where, like, for instance, I had a handful of consumables. Maybe as time would go on, I'd get a sense that I really should be carefully hoarding and using those consumables. Uh, there's games, actually I'll use the old school Lands of Lore, like in Lands of Lore, you hardly got that many items at all. But you got a lot of clone items that you would sell. Like you'd see in this game, I was like killing guys and just selling the greaves and things that I didn't need. So I actually don't have that good of a mental model of what the items are like. Uh, and I didn't spend very much time with them. My, the, the hinting there, the hinting was that you have common items. And then you have fine items, and I assume that the power goes up. That's something I was looking for, where I was like, is there items that are strictly worse than other items? Um, but I didn't really get very many varied items, which again is okay. Dark Souls is another game that does not give you tons and tons and tons of items. because very sparing spurts of items that have more differences and improvements, so... Um, Yeah, I think overall, I'll just come back to the spa day comparison, you know, like when the systems are too simple in a game like this, it's like, oh, I get that, I get that, I get that, and uh, here's the four things I want to do, and then I completely forget about them, and I just fight and talk to people. But the, there are enough moving parts in these that I, you know, want to spend time in the menu, immersing myself and getting in and feeling like that. And I, that's that's part of the experience that I really like. Um, all right, I'm going to end. Let's see if Sheriff can come give kisses. Sheriff! Sheriff, I'm right here. Come here. Come here. Nope, come on. You're about to be a star. Nope, come here. Hey. Come here. Hey. 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 Sheriff, come here. Look, I'm going to I'm gonna physically push you. I'm going to physically here. I'm going to pick you up. Okay. Yes. Yes. I got a cat. This is a good way to end the stream. Thank you, Obsidian. Thank you, Paradox. Sheriff would like to say thank you. Here, let's let's celebrate the end of the demo with tummy time. Yes, tummy time. There you go. Yep. Just curl up. Uh <laughs> Tyranny comes out on November 10th. You can pre-order it at tyrannygame.com. Sheriff would love for you to pre-order Tyranny. <laughs> Someone's wallet's like, no! <laughs> no, I cannot resist the power of Sheriff. I'm gonna, uh, it's 6 p.m. I'm gonna be doing Hearthstone in an hour. I need to get some dinner. So I'm gonna turn the stream off after this. I'm gonna go eat some food. Uh, and I'll see you then. I hope you have a, a, a good hour. And I hope you uh, enjoyed the show. Yeah! Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do.